clunk as you take off and hit bumps in the road? Like this when you take off? Or like this when you pull in a driveway? Well, then it's time to jack the old car up in the air and see what has play and what's worn in the front. Well, it sure sounds like it's coming from this side, so let's pull on the wheel with it jacked up. Yep, certainly clunking. So we'll get the wheel out of the way. Boy, it's really stuck on. We'll kick it a few times to help loosen it off. And off it comes. And when we go under here, we can see that when we hit the lower A-frame down here, it's clunking because it has play. It needs a new lower A-frame. Have the brakes and move them. You can hear it clunking, and what's clunking is the entire A-frame under here that's worn out. The bushings are shot. Now, in the case of the Chevy Avio, the whole lower control arm comes with the bushings built in, and even the ball joint. You buy it as a unit. Now we have to take the old arm off, so first we're going to take the nut off of the tie rod arm here. We'll just get a socket and take the nut off. Then we'll hook up this tie rod puller to pull the tie rod off. You just tighten it up and it comes off. That way we can get a wrench on the ball joint to loosen it to get that off. It goes right on the end and you pull it to get that nut off. Now since the new control arm comes with the ball joint in, we don't care if we wreck the old ball joint, so we'll just hit it off with a pickle fork. The fork's right here. You just put it right under the ball joint and then hit it with a sledgehammer. A few whacks and it'll come right off. And there it goes. As you can see, now it's come out of the hole and we can just unbolt the other end. Then we have to unbolt the front of the A-frame right here. It just unbolts and comes out. Ah. And we unbolt the back here. And that bolt comes out. Then the whole assembly, with a little wiggling, comes right out. Then we'll put them side by side and they look the same, so it should work. We'll just slide this back in place here. And put the bolts in and tighten them up. And don't forget the nut on the ball joint. Get that nice and tight too. And then get the tie rod, put it in place. Bolt it on too. Put it on nice and tight. Uh, uh. When we put the wheel on and get it nice and tight, uh, we can now check it to see if all the play is gone. Oh, doesn't wobble anymore, make noise. Of course, the real test is taken for a drive, so let's see if it clunks. No more clunking, nice and quiet, and when we hit bumps, it doesn't thump anymore. So the next time your car starts thumping, why not fix it yourself? And remember, if your car has any problems, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel. Before it's too late. <laughs>